Hello, Florida Luxury Associate. This is a video uh, training for your back office website. This is one in a series. Um, this video is going to pretend to adding a contact to your Florida Luxury back office database. You're, as a Florida Luxury agent, you receive a complimentary uh, client relationship management system or CRM. Uh, it allows you to in, um, add leads add your contacts, categorize them, whether they're seller, buyer, from your sphere of influence. You can also set up email drip campaigns and things like that. That is all provided to you as a Florida luxury agent. So once you log in, you're gonna click on my deals and go to my leads right here in the middle, click on my leads, and we're gonna add a new lead. So we're gonna add me Now you want to add as much um, information as you can, uh, but not necessarily um, all of it's going to be required. As you can see here by the little asterisk, first and last name are required. The rest of it is not. So if you don't have all the information, the system isn't going to be kicking back because you don't have an email or you don't have a phone number. If the person has a spouse, You can add the spouse's information, uh, oftentimes husband and wife or um, partners will have different emails and phone numbers, so you can do that. And then you want to select a category. Are they a buyer, a seller, a past client, or someone in your circle? So my circle is basically your sphere of influence. Those are people that know, like, and trust you. Uh, when they see your name, they see your face or hear your voice, they know who you are. Maybe it's a family member, a former neighbor, a former coworker, your landscaper, your pool person, your air conditioner repairman. Maybe it's the lady at the dry cleaner or the man at the dry cleaner that you go to all the time. That's your circle. That's your sphere. And that's where a lot of your business is going to come from. So you want to make sure that you stay in contact with these people. Now, for the purpose of the rest of this demonstration, I'm not going to categorize this contact in my circle because I need it to do certain things. So let's say you have a buyer okay, or a seller. So we're going to click on the seller. We're going to categorize this person as a seller. It's a new seller lead. Add the lead down here at the bottom. And here you can see I'm added right here in bold and you open it. Here's all the information about the person. You can change this and update it at any time. Just be sure that any changes you make that you click update record. Okay, right over here we're going to see the lead source. Did it come from Craigslist? Was it an office lead? Is it someone in your farm area? Was it someone who called you because of a past sale? Are you on a team? And maybe it was a team lead. Uh, did it come from your uh, agent website? Did you enter it yourself? Was it from a website, a direct mailer, or any other thing? So you need to, you would be wise to select, you know, where the source come from. Because um, there's a great way to keep track of what's going on. So I'm just going to say self. They found my phone number through a realtor.com search and, you know, they called me. <clears throat> right here in the next section says appointment scripts and schedule. If you click on appointment prep, it pulls up a lot of the things that you're going to use for your listing appointment. Okay. The realtor, why choose me? The seller Q&A, how to make dazzling first impressions. Your CMA cover and the pricing uh, range sheet for the back of the market analysis. Your seller's net sheet. If you sell the house for X amount of dollars, after all the expenses is paid, what are you going to get back? Seller exceeding expectations. This is a great little checklist that you can use while you're on your listing appointment. How many ceiling fans are there? How many smoke detectors are there? You know, are the appliances stainless steel? You can make notes while you go through the home on your appointment. Sellers want an agent who pays attention, pays attention to detail, takes notes and gets all the right information. Right here from inside the lead, you also have a link to the forms wizard. 
Okay, so you can go right into the forms wizard, answer the simple questions it asks you, and it will create your PDF package for your listing. For the purposes of email drip campaigns, we click on here, email drip campaigns, right under the email tab. There is seller. <clears throat> so you have a few options, a seller prospect, a seller FISBO prospect, a seller expired prospect, or a seller withdrawn prospect. Let's just say it's a seller prospect. You know, hey, <clears throat> you know, they call you up, they say, hey, Mike, you know, we're thinking about selling, we're gonna wait a little bit, you know, it's the holidays are just over or whatever the scenario is. You don't want them to forget about you. <clears throat> now with a buyer, you can put them on an MLS trip campaign where they're gonna get listings to look at. So that's gonna keep you attached to them. But for the seller, you don't have that, you're not gonna send them MLS listings. So we can preview the seller prospect emails. Let's drag this over into the screen for you. Okay, day one, day seven, day eight, all the way up to day 29. So this campaign is for capturing a lead. We're thinking about selling, okay? And then every so many days, it's gonna send out an email. If you click on the blue view box, you can preview the email that you're sending out, okay? If that's a campaign that you'd like to use for them, you just simply click launch. And the campaign has been started. If you enter a contact and over time, you know, whatever, they no longer around, you wanna delete them, you just click delete. The system does ask you to check the box before you delete the record to confirm that you want to delete it. That way you can't mistakenly do it. You can also make notes on the file. You can also send out your testimonial. One little do that I'd like to point out here before I end this video. This QR code here in the top right is generated for that lead. So when you enter the lead information, you get out your smartphone or your tablet, whichever one you prefer, get out your QR code reader, scan that QR code, and it will add this contact information into your Google Contacts. So your Gmail contacts will reflect what's in your database. So you don't have to double enter, okay? If you're using a different um, contact system for your um, contacts or your email, like Yahoo or Gmail or, um, you know, well, Gmail we already said, but like iCloud Mail, things like that, the forms don't necessarily, f you know, follow suit. Um, and we do recommend that you get a Gmail account for your business. It's just the most uh, reliable and useful system around. It also ties in with your document storage to be paperless with Google Drive. So that's it. My deals, my leads, add the lead, categorize them, get them on the um, lead source and lead category, and that's all there is to it. Stay on top of those leads. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.